Welcome back all, and I hope you're all enjoying the series. This episode, we've got two stages, including the gatekeeper. We also have a look at some footage from the day trip we did on the bikes and the quads on Paulie's property. Nicholas's first real go on his TDR90. Let's see how he goes. Nice jump for Max. Nice jump, Max. Yep. Oh. Nice. 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 Well done. I've lost it. I've lost me gig. I've lost me gig. Now this is a very steep climb from the bottom all the way to the top. So Sean takes up the Pathfinder on the somewhat easier track all the way to the top, which leaves Steve, myself and Adam uh, to do a couple of these bonus lines. Righto, Steve. Big face that. Huh? It is. This enough justice. It's hard, eh? Go right. back and have a good look at it now that we know it's not easy. Yeah, that's. Beautiful. You warmed him up nicely. Stay into it. Stay into it. Nah, come back right, right back right end down. You're safe. Are you safe? Back right hand down, but yeah, you're safe. Oh, that's not much that was a good line. Good so you got to come back and square up to where you were. Don't you to go oh, maybe try that line. Yeah, left hand down, forward. The whole, the whole face. Yep. Nah. Oh, I reckon where you were is the guy. Really? Yep. Yeah, right. yeah. You've got to give it some. I know. That reminds me of the Nissan Trials, one of the three. Remember Nissan Trials? Yeah. Right on. That's steep. Yeah, I don't know about that line. Is this the other line you were talking about? Nah, the next oh. bonus line. Oh, right, okay. Like the well done. Adam really nailed that. Now, during the day, he wasn't complaining, but he kept mentioning that his sway bar was limiting him in some of the uh, flexi spots. But I really feel having the sway bar in on this particular climb, kept the car more stable than Steve's and myself's, and he just nailed it. Really good drive, really confident and powerful. He should have put it in rear wheel drive and just let it come across. We're climbing up to the main event here. Hopefully we can uh, conquer it this time. This is the left 
left-hand turn that basically brings you into the track. So we'll get up there and we'll set cameras up. This is it, buddy, look. Main rocks, look at it. I know you are on an angle, aren't you? Looking for somewhere to park. Oh, should I be stopping down the bottom here? Yeah. yeah. Go backwards. That's, this is scary. Look at the boss. Oh my goodness. Now it's Papa. We're missing two cars. Yeah. Adam, can you hear me? They must be broken. Here we are. Is that where I see? Yeah, you can have your see. You're coming up a real steep hill already, and then you hit this. Doesn't look much different to the last time I remember it. And thankfully it's dry. I know, like oh, but I'm first car, so I'll get first go. I need an adult to go and stand up next to it. Stephen? Ooh. Ooh. The bike rider, he um he stopped us to see if we were coming up here, and I said, did you get up it? And he said, nah, too hot for that. That's a big step. Is that your line? Ah, oh, I don't know. 1.6, 1.5. Can't wait. Did you say you need a bit of help coming down? Yeah. It's like a double story balcony that you're on. Come down. Are you finished playing with the car? Yeah. Alright, jump on my back. Piggyback time. <laughs> Piggyback time, jump on. No, I didn't even get down. Jump on. I'm trying to get down to you. Yeah! Ah. I got a piggyback. Oh, we've got another car that split our convoy. Oh no, Pathfinder's back. All right, so it's not the line. It is. Come out of the way. Before we have a look at that action, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at a couple of minutes of the kids, Rochelle, myself, Paul and Letitia, having some fun in Paulie's property. Just try it. <laughs> balance well done right Amel well done
Big hole. Oh, I got no. it. I got it. It's a big hole. Massive. What do you got to say? Uh -oh. Big hole. If you've got an old quad, you know the pain of getting parts for them. Shout outs to Adam at Quad Squad there for getting me these tie rod ends. So it's fixed the steering, perfect now, no play in them. But I'm gonna need these tie rod ends next because there's a lot of play in those, that one and the bottom one. So I'll be ordering them next. But for all your quad gear, Quad Squad's the go. Back to the gatekeeper, we've got all four vehicles safely to the base of it. Sean had a mate in a short wheelbase patrol join our little convoy. Uh, Sean had issues with his steering, which is now fixed, and it's my turn to have a go at this climb. I'd spent about 40 minutes on this first attempt of mine uh, before the car started to splutter and splurt on the big angle. Even the electric fuel pump I had from the cell to the pump uh, wasn't enough to get me, to keep me idling, so to speak, in that position. Now I feel that potentially the cell may have been down in diesel because it wasn't playing up for the first 25, 30 minutes. It just seemed to not like the last little bit.
you have a rest? Bullet's having a rest. Steve's going to attempt this line first. Yeah, awesome. See your right sense. I love it. Yeah. Real like her. That wants to grip. The front front left's getting light. Try your front wheel on that rock now. That was a good line, I, I know, it's an awesome line. It's so, it's so hit and miss, isn't it? So hit and miss. Fishing too far now. Oh. Go! What? What? Go, keep driving! Great driving, Steve. Now, once he got up, I knew that we were all getting up. So I try for another, it would have been another 25, 30 minutes again, just bouncing poor Bullet up this ledge and not getting anywhere. It just wasn't my day this time. Again, uh, the wheelbase, I don't know what it was. I tried every line, every gear, numbers, not numbers. Uh, it was time to winch. Have a little talk about the gatekeeper and what that term means in particular trails, especially over in America. So they feel that if you cannot get past the gatekeeper, then you have no right being in the area to do the other trails. So it was important for us. We've winched it before, but then turned around and come back down. Now, Sean tells us of a couple of extra climbs that we can do. Oh, mate, where are you? <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Big kahunas, well driven. <laughs> All right, this thing's going to put two wheels up and then we're going to winch him because he's still our guide. Yeah, so you're going to do a back and fill and face the other way? So it was in our best interest to be able to get all vehicles up above the gatekeeper to go into Hub Hill. The weather started to turn and with it brought rain. So we had Adam, Sean and Sean's mate to still get up and over. Uh, Sean did his best to get his nose up to the step and beyond very well driven there and then i turned my truck around 
and use my winch to pull him up. Adam didn't really have a real good go at this climb because of the weather coming in. Once the rain hits this rock, it becomes undrivable even more so. So Adam winches up and then Sean's mate in the shorty winches up. And off we go to Hub Hill. Look at the heat coming off that. This only rained for like three minutes. Stay tuned for the next episode where we go up in a hub hill. The rain comes down, things become slippery. Also, keep your votes coming in. So up to this point, with all the parts counted up, what we have, we've got Bullet Truck, then we've got Adam, then we've got Linda. Well done there, Sean. Uh, followed by Steve. But we've seen something special in this episode. And I hope Steve gets the votes he deserves. So a like next to the truck's name down below to continue the competition. And as always, thanks for watching.